Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at direct offline processing which is a new feature in Cubase 9.5. Now this is designed to allow you to apply processes to a bit of audio without having to put the effects into the channel in question but also allows you to apply processes as well as uh, plugins. There are lots of times when this could be useful but the uh, use case I'm going to go through is when you are creating reverb tails so this is quite a common thing with the sound of reverse reverb often leading up to a transition or a change of section etc in a piece of music and at the moment for me the workflow for this is reasonably long-winded so you take the sound that you want to apply this to you do a mix down to it, importing it onto another track then you reverse it then you insert a reverb do a mix down of that with the locators set to capture the reverb tail and then you reverse that and then cut that reverb tail off so it's quite long-winded it's not a difficult task but it's say it's long-winded because there's multiple steps and it just seems to take longer than it should do this will hopefully help with that and we're going to take a look at how you do it but there is a small caveat to it and that is that i don't think that the feature is quite finished yet as a result there's a couple of things missing one of which means we need to use the calculator so just going to nip to the calculator here and here it is so don't switch off this isn't the end of the world uh, it just involves a bit of multiplication and division so there are 60,000 milliseconds in a minute and all we're going to do is divide it by the BPM of our song which is at 127 and then that gives us how many milliseconds there are in a beat we want four bars worth of reverb tail so that's 16 beats so we're just going to multiply it by 16 and that gives us our answer which is 7559 so that's how many milliseconds we need to put in the direct offline processing window as we will see in a second so now we'll just load that up so we'll click on the sampling question and then we go to audio or direct offline processing or hit f7 and here we see the window so we've got a list of plugins and processes that we can apply on the left and any settings for them on the right the first thing we're going to do is put those times in here if you didn't want to extend the time range of this audio so if you just wanted it to be here then you would need to put these in but for anything where it needs to make it longer you put that value in and it will then extend it as necessary when you get a plugin that needs to do that so 7559 here and we'll put it in there as well now what we're going to do is apply the processing and plugins that we need so the first thing is to add reverse and we can see straight away and hear that that is now backwards okay and the next thing we're going to do is add the plugin which will be roomworks for the reverb so let's add that now two things have happened firstly you can see that this has extended now because of those settings we put in with those milliseconds it's now extended it by another four bars which is useful but we've got the roomworks window here and the settings in question here are ones which i've put on so seven and a half seconds or so of reverb and it's set to mix 100 percent. so all we want is the reverb sound we don't want any of the direct sound the last thing we want to do is to reverse it again so we're going to get that reverb sound backwards so we click process add reverse and you can see straight away that it's now done it so we've got this reverb tail section here and then this is the reverse part with reverb on and if we listen to that we can hear that and that's working fine but obviously we only want it up to the five bar mark here so that's all we need to do we can just cut this if we want and that will be that now if you want to burn this permanently onto that audio you're concerned maybe you've got other copies and you want to do different things to them etc you can do that as well but bear in mind that is destructive editing at the moment we can undo this at any point so even if we've closed this window Cubase knows you can see we've got direct uh, offline processing applied to it so that's what this little uh, icon at the top right means if we go to audio and direct offline processing it knows that that's what you've applied to it and you can undo it change it etc play around now i say i think this window is ripe for expansion so things such as putting this in not in milliseconds but in uh, bars and beats will be great 
also saving chains of processes and plugins as a new preset will be really useful because then you could just do this as a one button process once you've uh, got it set up particularly if that saves the range of bars and beats etc something sensible that would be really useful that's not where we're at, at the moment but what we can still do is burn this permanently onto that audio file as it were so we click make direct offline processing permanent it warns you it says you can't undo this it really means it so i'm going to be really relaxed and say sure we see the icon disappears and now this is permanently on there we can cut that and there we go reverse reverb tails done really quickly without having to do lots of exporting and playing around with locators etc using direct offline processing thanks for watching i hope this has been helpful